Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator. In the previous episode, we were once again chilling out in the career mode and specifically we were completing the Clean the Bungalow mission and it was probably the more interesting of all of them so far. It wasn't a huge uh, thing to clean but it was actually quite decent and obviously being single story it was quite easy to get around. Overall, pretty happy with that. We have not enough money to really buy any other cleaner so we're going to stick with what we've got now and we're going to take a look at the the only remaining map in well in this uh, career mode here now maybe there's one as we uh, there might be other maps as we unlock them throughout this mission but it does feel like we're getting towards the end part of the build but who knows we shall see this is clean the detached house so we'll have a quick look at that one cards on the table we live at the old house of Esther's uh, Diath the eccentric actress who played the wicked witch the classic movie had vanished mysteriously in the national park we know the rumors surrounding the place but we also know we've picked up an absolute bargain we don't mind if the furniture moves around a little, that's just next level feng shui. <laughs> but the grubby exterior is really getting to us. So, uh, what do we have to do? All the other power washers in town are too scared to set foot in our yard. If you could help us out, we'd be eternally grateful. Start the job. 650 generic units of currency to complete this one, so we'll see. Obviously, basic nozzles, uh, well, we've got, we bought, got all the nozzles and all the cleaning solutions, but still the basic power washer. So, we're going to have a quick look around the property. This is the one that we completed as part of the... As part of the demo as well. It says pick up equipment here, which is... Oh, I'm looking over there. Yeah, uh, so this is one of the ones we played when we were checking out the demo. And we'll have a quick look around the place. You can see there's a little bit of graffiti there on the garage. Now, on there as well. It does state that this place is haunted. So if there's not any, like, weird things from the windows or something like that then I'll be I'll be bitterly disappointed quite frankly anyway let's go ahead and we will start the cleaning so I think we'll go with probably the driveway first um, actually no we'll start with this first so over to probably the uh, this is what the 25 degree nozzle and we can see that it uh, cleans up quite nicely so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, check this out. I'm going to spend more time on the left hand side. This is from uh, Aura Smith. You might notice the odd super weird creepy sign above the outside of the house. Nothing to worry about. Okay, I did notice some weird symbols there, but there you are. So anyway, just once again, another chill out where we're going to get this thing clean as we possibly can. So I'm just going to cut in around the outside. According to Jenny's research, they're written in Enochian, an ancient language of the angels. Uh, don't know if that's pronounced rightly, but whatever. Uh, yeah, there we are. Let's just get this clean and just get get ourselves out of here. Quite frankly, we don't want to spend too much time uh, in this place if we uh, if we can avoid it. So this just says pathway, so we might be able to get away with a very quick clean. I'm going to switch to the 40 degree, and actually, that's a relatively quick wash if we go like that with the 40 degree. So I'm hoping that we... What, what else are we running? The long extension, yeah. Same as we did before, it remembered it. So if we just slowly go back and forward, we should get this clean. Now, in the previous build of the game, I noticed that we... When we were cleaning the tiles, it was very, very difficult to get in between the paving. As in the paving, especially... Well, I don't know if it was for this bit, but certainly the paving on the right hand side for the driveway that was very I'm, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna try and blast up and down here to see if that actually does just work I don't think it will but we shall see yeah it was like a herringbone pattern I believe it was and it was very very difficult to clean because in between the pattern it was uh, oh yeah that, that did get that done and um, you had to spray in between and it was really really difficult anyway we're gonna go for the edging here and it does actually say driveway edge as well. So we're just going to clean this edging. So we'll work our way along. I'm actually going to turn to this le uh, this vertical nozzle rather than the horizontal one. And get this thing as clean as we can. I was going to say clean as a whistle and then I was going to... And I was thinking... Well, I've heard this saying multiple times. I have no idea if whistles were known to be clean. I mean, is that is that a thing? It obviously is a thing because they wouldn't really name it. But there you are. We're gonna we're gonna get it as clean as a cleany thing, and that's clean. And this one will also uh, have to do as well. So a little bit of overspray onto the driveway. This driveway is a lot more. It's a lot more dirty than 
than the walkway, as you might imagine, because it's had vehicles on it. So we've got oil and grease and run off from the vehicle when we've been cleaning it itself. So yeah, we have to have to take care of that one. So I'm just uh, running across. There's obviously bits of stuff on the driveway edge that we have to worry about. I'm guessing on this side. Yeah, driveway edge. Yeah, and that's now cleaned as well. So we'll just cut in here. And luckily, with this sprayer, it cleans up quite nicely. Very tempted to try and use this one. Oh no, you can see it's leaving loads of residue behind. So there's no way that's happening. So we're just going to stick with the green 25 degree nozzle. And it's leaving tiny specks. But no drama. We should be able to do that. I mean, this... I'm looking at going... We can easily do this with a with a cleaner. <laughs> like, do we want to want to do it with a cleaner? I really have no idea. Yeah, see that? I was going to try and just clean it with this... With that nozzle, but... No. I think we should run up and down with this one. That produces a good finish. This is my favourite, the the twenty, yeah, the fifteen degree nozzle. And oh yeah, that's really getting that sorted. Do we stick with it? We'll stick with it. Attempt to try and get a lot of this dirt off around here. With that. Hmm. That seems to work. We've discussed in previous videos multiple ways of cleaning, multiple solutions, and all the valid options. It all just depends on what you personally prefer. Not sold on the cleaning products. But I do find that uh, I do find it satisfying to get this sort of methodically scraped up and down. See, that's night and day compared to that. That's nice. All right, back over to the old faithful 15 degree orange tip spray, and we're going up and down here. Now, obviously, it's going to take a lot more passes, but we're also getting it pretty much done in one hit with you know the odd little bit here and there but even then it's it's really getting it sorted the thing is the further you look down the slower you move so I'm uh, trying to avoid that and other sections that I'm missing like there but we can always come back to it remember once you get to a certain point it just goes yep ting you've got you've got the majority of it done we will give you a, a bit of a pass on that one that's fine. I have a feeling that this house is going to be quite a big job, so it may not be. It may not be a one-episode thing. That's something I've not really tried. Just standing here and just working up and down like that. Uh, yeah, I tend because you, because of where you turn, you tend to end up making it like a fan pattern. So no, I think just moving up and down like that is the best way. Actually, physically move the character rather than sort of pan around. We're getting there. And then we'll have to have a look at the house. And there's some big surfaces. And some detail on the windows as well. Yeah, we're changing tact just for a little bit. Just sort of spray up and down here rather than work to the edge. No reason. Just variety being the spice of life. Which is something I didn't think I'd say in a game about simulated power washing. But then again, I never thought I'd play a game that's simulating power washing. <laughs> I wonder what is in the in store for the rest of the game in terms of levels and mechanics that may be added who knows so this is just I 
the last little clean here. You can see I'm I'm leaving bits, but I'm not coming back to them. I don't see any any reason. The the driveway is almost complete, and because we were very thorough at the start, the majority of this will be done by the time we get to the end of this cycle. And then we'll hear the noise, and it'll be clean. There's already 12% of the house for just the driveway and that. Right, uh, we're here. Let's work on the garage. This is wooden trim. And obviously we're working on the inside of it. Spare around, get underneath there, and down. And then we'll have to switch to this side. But as you can see, oh yeah, it's covered there. And I'm guessing have to work on the top. No, we didn't have to. So I've swapped over to the 25 degree. Which is getting the majority of that muck off. And it just takes a little bit more time to get the real caked in stuff on there. I mean, every nozzle can clean it. It's just a matter of time and holding it on for longer. Finding that right balance of efficiency and fun, time spent, etc. We can see that these, I was going to say them ruins there, they were going to take a little bit of time, but uh, apparently they didn't. So let's just get this porch done. And all these bricks, the returning wall on it. And crouch there, get underneath. Go on. Switch to that one. Yeah, that's better. And look at that, that's really, really kicked on grind that. Really is. I'm not actually aiming to do the decking, I was aiming to do the bricks, but see that there? That's really, really stubborn, that one. Might have to come back to that. Just give it a pre-rinse. And there we go. And those bricks are done. Yep. I'm tempted to get... Look at that. That's really caked on. Mm. Don't like the don't <laughs> don't like dealing with that. We'll come back to it. Let's clean the bricks. <laughs> future me future me is a sucker. He takes all the jobs that currently doesn't want to take. What a mug. What a mug. So I'm just trying to get that wall done. And all the wall around here as well. It's curious that the fence is uh, bright, like sort of clean, bright white and clean. Whereas this, what we're doing now, not so much. Just getting under here for the wooden trim. We're already attempting it anyway, so. There we are. And the wooden trim here. Nice. Let's go around here as well. It does. Well, it really wasn't my intention to clean these. But there we are. Let's go back to the front. I'm going to have to tackle it at some point, aren't I? the wooden trim. A lot of overspray onto the decking there as well. Guessing wooden under there as well, that wooden trim. Yeah, that's clean. Now the wooden trim here. The problem is if I don't do this decking, 
I know for a fact I'll move off and I'll ignore it. And then I'll come back to what inevitably is going to be a really, really difficult job. Look at that. That really is stubborn muck. It really is stubborn muck. So we'll use the spiralizer, 5 million. That seems to get rid of the majority of that, by the look of it, yeah. I think, however, this is going to be a case of doing what I can with, say, this, and then coming back. Or maybe taking the majority of this off with our pressure washer and then perhaps working with some cleaner that might get rid of it I don't know let's just get to the door door seen better days chance the entire property seen better days but if it was good value then fair enough Buy the worst house in the best area, not the best house in the worst area. What do I know? I live in a place that's twinned with no man's land, so there you are. Mm. Almost got the door done, yeah, door is now done. Right. As you can see, just dealing with the decking here. Let's we get all the decking done in one hit. Brand the decking, it says that. Get underneath. And we're already on 20% completed, actually, so... Poor thing, it's not a... Terribly difficult thing to do. Spiralizer for this one. Hmm. All right, so the decking not too bad. Uh, the problem is all of these uprights, which are absolutely filthy. Them posts. I think is each one a separate post. Each one is a separate post. This is going to be really difficult. Not just because of the angles, which is normally that's, I guess, traditionally <laughs> the main problem with cleaning these. These are the angles that you have to attack them at. Um, there's lots of different little sides and angles and bits to get in and you often miss pieces. Not just that, but obviously the, the dirt that's on there. Um, what I'm going to do is give this a good rinse from multiple angles like that and on this side And then... Is that railing, says? Or oh, is this all the same railing? Ah, oh, it's all the same railing, that's why. Okay. Anyway. We'll get all... We'll give this a good rinse. On multiple sides. And I'm going to try a cleaning solution. I'm not hopeful. <laughs> I'll say that now. I'm not hopeful. But... We have to try something. Because with the dirt that's on, like that, it's going to be a problem. I sat on the sofa just now, I heard a strange sigh like sound. Spooky. Yeah, that's me sighing at the amount of dirt on the property, to be honest. <laughs> there we go. Obviously got the there as well, the veranda roof. Which I have a feeling will take some time. It's got the same sort of real kicked on dirt. That's where I do need a better power washer. But cannot afford one. Or I think I could I think I could have afforded I think I could afford one, but I couldn't get any of the nozzles, so it seemed pointless. Yeah, any of the special 
add-ons. Right. Okay. This wooden trim cleans, cleans up quite nicely. There you go. Clean. Okay. Let's try it. Switch to the nozzle. And... It's universal cleaner. Wood cleaner. Refill. That actually does a good job on it, doesn't it? Okay. All oh, right. Okay. Happy with that. Very happy with that. So as we're attempt, you know, as we're spraying this, all of that horrible muck that we couldn't really remove has just disappeared. Obviously, it costs money to do this. But it does it. Is that it? That's it. That side. Okay, brilliant. We now have a we now have a plan of attack. Clean all of this as best we can with our traditional, shall we say, um, cleaner. And then We'll attack it with the. We'll attack it with the. Uh, the actual cleaning solution. That's what we're going to do. Just get the get the worst off. And all of the really stubborn grime and stuff, which just refuses to shift. We attack with the cleaner, because we 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 did it there, and then before you know it, we ting ting ting. Oh yes, we got it all done. Like the, most of it was done. That is worth the 10 generic units of currency it costs for one cleaner. Now, admittedly, I'll have to do that multiple times. There's a gutter there, it's quite nice. Yeah, I'll have to use the cleaner multiple times, two or three times I would imagine on this place. And I'm looking up there and seeing a similar... Oh no, that's Shadow. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking I've seen similar things here. We can see on the roof, we've got these bits here, which will probably eventually come up if we spend a long time on them. But I'd rather just buy, I'll just buy a bit of cleaning solution. Best spraying this rail, actually, because any overspray will go behind. And on the roof to clean that. Let's so clean the gutter. It is plastic, but I would assume a property like this, which may have some age to it, would have been, would have been metal guttering. There you are. And I need to do the whole thing in one go, because if I do it separately, all that's going to happen is I'll be able to clean this side and then any overspray for the bubbles and the soap and the cleaning product. They'll just completely, well, go behind and won't, won't really penetrate that multiple layer that we needed to do over there. Because like this wall won't be clean, so we need to clean the whole wall and the whole roof. And I'm hoping after a couple of sprays, we'll hear loads of ting, 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 ting as the whole thing gets clean. That's what I'm hoping for. Whether or not that actually happens, well, we'll see. We're already on 24%. So I still don't think we're getting this done in one episode. I think it is going to take two. <laughs> or a very long one, but I don't think so. They're splitting it up, I would imagine. Oh, we still have to do inside there as well. This is the, one of the most in intricate parts, though, of this, this cleaning job, I would say. 
We'll work up here. Get the ting. Ting! And... Just tapping it from this angle as well. And I think we're best heading off. Uh, heading to the inside of this one. Very intricate. Almost as intricate as the... Actually, if not more than the, the fence that we had. On... I think it was the first... It was actually the second second level. But it was the first sort of... Proper map, I would call it. Because it was a... The first one was the van. Specifically... That van over there. And we cleaned that... And we were quite happy with it, but the first map was like the outdoors. Oh! Yeah, that was the, um, the garden. There we go. And... I think we'll be about done here. got it from most angles. Right, what we'll do is we'll switch to 25 degree. Get most of the dirt off here. Off this wall. I'm not saying the overspray will end up clipping it anywhere. Door, nice. No broken windows. I'm going to switch to the uh, the short extension. It's because the because we are basically sandwiched between the patio. I say the the railing here on this decking. We can't get in with the long, the really long handle, and not that we need it as well. Window them. Window frame. this side and we get done yep. and then this wall here very nice very nice oh, up there as well spiralizer five million I think So where this red bit are we missing? Ah, up there. It's paralyzer 5 million. Comes into play now. Uh, it's not working. Let's go for the long extension. That's better. That's precision. <laughs> precision work. So where? Up there. Hmm. Ah. No, that, that'll that be classed as a separate piece. So where's the dirt on that? It's like in and around here, won't it? This side? No. There we go. One little, one little section. Right, it's time to, I think, just clean the bit of the top of the veranda up there. And let's get the cleaning solution on the go. So we need to refill that, and I'm going to attack it from here. There we go. And this side. Sitting up nicely. This side. Here. I think that's the majority of it done. Yeah, just a little bit of refilling. But over here. So you just 
just how effective this thing can be. Just tiny bits left. Oh. Mm. Go over here. That's done. That's done. See, I cleaned that there. And that's wood cleaning solution. And it cleaned it fine. So. Is that all that done? I think that is that done. So, all these posts are clean. All this is done. Yeah, I believe so. 27%. Right, so we just need to do the top of that veranda. Let's let's actually do that, to be honest. Um, so we'll pick this ladder up and we'll put it um, here. And we're going to go with this one. Oh, this is again absolutely caked in grime. So we'll do what we can. With this, and then we'll we'll hit this with a cleaner. Is this the map that cleaner is like? I wouldn't say mandatory, but certainly like very very much benefits from it. This is all classes universal, even though it's the tile. It's classes universal. And I'm hoping that with a good scrub, we won't need to use any cleaner on it. There's, there is the said good scrub. I'm just doing the gutter here as well. Bit difficult with the ladder in play. Uh, switch that one. There we go. Okay. I have to just try and get underneath this veranda. That's not clean at all, is it? It really isn't. Right, well, if we switch over to that with the universal cleaner and refill it. There you go. Done in a matter of seconds. Brilliant. Right, so the gutter then. Kind of a spiral nozzle. There we go. Don't know how I'm going to do that guttering. I really don't. If I go from here, right on the edge. And it's not clean in it. See that where it is there? Attack it like that, and the ladder's in the way. Right, I'm gonna pick the ladder up. Um, I'm gonna put it over here because I'm hoping I can jump from here to here. No, I got stuck on a gutter. Here to here, maybe like that. Yep, we're in. We're in. There we go. Still not cleaning it. Oh, there we go. Right, this is one of those times when I go, hmm, this could, this could benefit from a little bit more <laughs> uh, detail because, yeah, that's really difficult to get that. Okay, fine. We managed to do that section. Let's have a quick look from the front of the house then. It's, it's not too bad. We've cleaned the majority of it. Uh, actually, <laughs> that's, that's such a lie. We have not. Um... I'm picking that up. I'm going to move it here. Didn't even check the rest of the neighbours. They're all clean as well. Right, let's get this uh, front of the house done. So We'll get this garage wall done. Obviously, it's a different colour. It looks to be different, a different material. That's wood, and this is wall. It says universal. Um, 
and we'll um, get the guttering. This guttering should be a lot easier to clean. Huh. Should be a lot easier to clean. <laughs> Whether or not it is, oh, fun's in finding out. Also, I know that the part of the wall that we need to clean will be above that sort of wooden lintel there. You can even see the dirt that I just haven't been able to get. So I'll attack it from afar with a long nozzle just to make sure that cleans up nicely and it's not cleaning up nicely at all. Right, we'll probably have to get our step ladders on that one. And the guttering. With it being a box and having four sides, you can actually attack it at, you know, a certain angle to get all four sides in one go to do something like that. Which I think is quite decent. And that would trim along there. This wall. This wall will go past that white fence. Ah, I'll go to this end of it. Well, I might as well finish it off while we're here. Where oh, does it go? I oh, it definitely goes along there. There we are. And then the wall. Which I'll probably be able to go a bit faster, but I'm, I'm trying not to just do this, because that's not exactly that watchable, nor very relaxing for, <laughs> for yourself. Alright, back to the wall here and the, the fishes and the guttering as well. I'm really caked on grind this stuff. I yeah, definitely got the long handle on. Or the long the long bit on anywhere. Oh, that's done. That's fine. I was hoping we weren't gonna have too much of a problem there. So up the top and to the gutter ring and I'll try cleaning the majority with this a lot I'll be able to get with that and then I'll switch to the spiralizer can't really tell what I'm cleaning so I'm gonna go over here um, oh yeah that's cleaning the inside as well I just think the standard one is probably the way to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice. That's good. And the sliding off. We should get the majority of the temple. Be fine. Yeah. There we go, there's that done. Oh, this place is going to be a bit difficult. It's multiple... Yeah, multiple layers, really. Okay, I'm not going to attempt any more up there. Um, right. So a little scout around. This deck can hopefully be a lot easier. There's your chimney there, than this wall. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Let's try this. Yeah, look at that. How on earth I'm going to reach up there? I don't know. There's no scaffolding, as far as I can tell. Well, we'll clean what we can from down here. This is the long-handed nozzle. That's actually just come to mind, really. I wonder if there's levels, or at least levels planned, that you need the better power washers. Like, you're just not able to clean them. Or if you, you know, you might be able to clean them, but it's so annoying to do. Because you just don't have the reach or the power in the, you know, don't have the pressure and, and whatnot. I wonder if that's a, I wonder if that's a design decision they're going to take. I do not know. So I'm just get, getting this as clean as I possibly can. 
but you can see I am leaving a lot. So what I'm going to do is... Doing what I can. This chimney's coming up. Nice. It's hardly any... Hardly any uh, problem, really. Yeah, green nozzle will, green nozzle will do it alright as well. Just slowly work down. The graffiti there, which this nozzle will not touch. Another 25 degree nozzle. The 15 might. Fifteen doesn't, but the zero does. But even then, that's difficult. I think we're going to need a cleaner on that. Right, I need a... I wonder if I can pick this up and can you put it on the side of the house? You can put it on the side of the house. Oh, okay. Then that's, uh, that's okay then. In that case, we're fine. We can get this done without any great drama. Turn for the chimney while we're up here. There we go. And then just get this. And obviously I'll do the the fascia here. There we go. Because we're already here. No point in leaving it. I mean I'll give it a, a very basic rinse. There we go. I'm getting the best. I'm trying to get most of the chimney bit up there. There we go. There's little bits on that, you can see. But it's good enough for government work. Um, right. I'm going to pick this up and put it here. No, I'm not. I'm going to pick it up <laughs> and leave it where it was, apparently. Because I just want to try and get this chimney done. And there we go, there's that chimney. Alright, not too bad. So, what I'm going to do now is just... I think just get this these bricks done. There we go. Oh, and this as well, this wooden trim. Yeah, wooden trim. It does seem that, I don't, I don't know if it's a change that's been made, but it seems to me this is harder to clean than some of the other houses. Naturally the graffiti I would assume it would be, but yeah, it does seem more difficult. Let's clean these bricks. Clean all the bricks around. And even a little clean like this goes a long way. Did you hear that rumbling noise? No, I haven't heard any noises from the house. And that's bitterly disappointing. So. Bricks over here done. Yeah. I've got the decking to do in all these bricks, but. We'll attempt those later. Let's just do this wooden trim. Just quick once over. Oh. And underneath. And that's getting both the trim and the bricks. I don't think you stand here and do this. It's possible. Stand up to get the bottom, and there we are, bricks cleaned. And what we'll end up with 
is essentially just a flat surface, loads of flat surfaces. We've got all this porch to do. We've got the walls and the roof. But from the front... Uh, well, it's still a mess. Uh, <laughs> there's no getting around it. It is still a, an absolute mess. Um, we'll do this. Are we on? Yeah, long nozzle is on. See, obviously, getting up the top there is problematic. We need switch nozzles. I wonder what hitting this with a bit of cleaner would do. Really not too sure. I'm not going to worry about up top really because I'm going to get the steps. And bring the steps over. Window's going to be a nice clean thing. You can see up there as well. We just haven't. Left. Well, <laughs> jumping like that is far from ideal. We'll get the steps on that. But halfway, that seems relatively clean. Yeah, it's definitely much better. Is the spiralizer better on this? No. Get that one. Really get inside there. That's okay. Still bits remaining on it, but most of it's been completed, so there we are. And then we'll get back to this. Oh, it's actually a different head. Green is probably the best for this one. And we're on 43% clean. I have a feeling this is going to take nowhere near as long as the player park. Or if it does take longer, I think it's just a bit more enjoyable than the player park. The player park has so much to, to deal with. It's been my least favourite of all of the cleaning jobs so far. That's not to say it was terrible. Saying it wasn't wasn't brilliant. Um, you can see that bit there. <laughs> we weren't able to clean. Oh, did that. Uh, right, wooden window for a minute. I'm going to clean that. Exactly <laughs> like that. That's how you clean that. All right, there's still up there to do. Um, I'll get the ladder. I'll get the ladder and do that. I don't want to. I don't want to just like wander off and leave that bit. So, we'll bring the ladder around. At least there's lots of ladder points on this. So, and we're going to go from both sides. We'll go here. We'll try this one. And hit it with our 15 degree orange spray. There's no real good angle for this. Because of the way we're standing and so, it's been 45 degrees going up. Should be better to attack it like that from this side. And while we're here, just pressing tab. Getting the ridges under there. A lot of us will be able to do from the ground, but might as well do it. Getting the way of it. And just working all the way along. Cleaning that. And there we go. Alright, we're on 45% completed, and I think that's where we're gonna leave it there for now. It's been a bit of power wash simulator. Another chill out one, and we've got, I believe, good progress. This was the time consuming one, but finally, cleaner came good. We'll be doing a similar job in here giving this a pre-wash, then using the cleaner. My intention, however, is to most likely get the walls 
this wall down here with the door and stuff, get all that done first because quite frankly um, getting that clean first would just be just instantly better because you know it means that we don't have to worry about well if we have a little bit of overspray and it hits it then that's fine but you don't want to be doing that with uh, the wall I say that I, I pretty much completed it in um, while doing it here but you can see it's still caked in muck on that one this is the problem you say you're gonna finish and say oh, just one more bit of cleaning who would have thought huh who would have thought so the door's just gonna go like that and then be lovely Rude not to do the window, wouldn't it? <laughs> Six hours later, and then <laughs> we're just <laughs> we're cleaning another property. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll be fine. We'll fine. We'll, we'll call it there. No, no, no. Uh, we'll do this window, and then we will leave it there. Um, but yeah, we'll do in this sort of uh, porch area. Shouldn't take too long, I wouldn't think. And then obviously we've got the roof, which the roof on the bungalow wasn't too much of a problem actually. I found it okay. There we go. Right, job done. So we'll leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Next episode we will look at cleaning the rest of the property. 47% completed, so we'll do that. Um, if we go to career mode... Yeah, I mean, we're on 32 stars. Unless another map unlocks at between now and the 35 stars maximum, I would assume that that is the last map of this build, but maybe we'll get another one. We shall see. And there's also the uh, the specials, which is the Mars rover. It's not part of the campaign, so you don't get any money off it, as far as I'm aware, but we may look at that. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it, and hopefully it's been a chill-out one for you. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic. Partings.